everybody and in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys my trials of Osiris loot on all three of my characters going from when I first start to the lighthouse so it's gonna include all of the loot not just the lighthouse loot so let's kick this off with weapons from the lighthouse I got a 317 inward lamp with outlaw now I do already have one with 319 and <laughs> radar stays active third eye of course so I definitely do prefer this one but this is gonna be really good infusion fuel for a lot of my weapons so that made me happy 317 is an awesome awesome drop I also got a 313 doctrine of passing which is the auto rifle which has counterbalance and I got a 314 Doctrine of Passing with Counterbalance. So I'm definitely not going to be keeping these. Not sure what I can infuse them to because a lot of my main weapons are already at like 314 or 315. But we'll see. I can definitely find some stuff. I can find some stuff. Now the guaranteed weapon to drop this week is Reflection Sum. So this happens at 7 wins I think or something like that. <laughs> like something, something like that. You are guaranteed to get the Pulse Rifle this week. I got super lucky and got mine with Headseeker. I did have an Adept one that I've been trying out and I didn't really like it that much, but this one with Headseeker is definitely a better roll than the one I had. So I want to try this out. I've used it a little bit, but I need to, I definitely need to do some more testing to see what it's like. I want to do a review of this weapon. So we're going to see how this actually ends up performing, but that is the guaranteed weapon this week. Now from the lighthouse, I got super lucky and got a 310 Hawkmoon. I know. I already have a year two Hawkmoon, but it is 290, so 310 is obviously a big improvement. And I do want to try using Hawkmoon more because I feel like it's one of the few hand cannons that went from year one into year two and still performs really good. So I definitely want to test out my Hawkmoon a little bit more. And that's pretty much it for weapons. Of course, my other two characters also did get a reflection sum, but yeah, that's pretty much it for all my weapons. Now, moving on to armor the guaranteed armor piece this week is the chest. I got super lucky with intellect, strength, and also void armor. This is perfect for my Night Stalker. The only thing that would have made it more perfect would be sniper ammo instead of shotgun ammo. But hey, I can't complain too much with the roll that I got. It's really good. My Hunter also got some more arms. She gets arms dropping all the time. Not really any chest pieces. I think this dropped, which is actually pretty good. This chest is actually really good because it's intellect, strength, sniper, and void armor. It's basically what I wanted this to be, but it's in the just standard Charles of Osiris armor, so, you know. I really like the way this one looks. I'm actually really, really happy to have my Trials armor back because I just think it's so pretty. That's pretty much it for armor though. She didn't get any helmets dropped, didn't get any extra pants dropped or anything like that, but what she did get was a rainbow blade. I know, it's not that great. <laughs> it has strength and discipline and arc accumulator, but it looks so damn pretty. I'm actually really contemplating putting my 310 artifact into this because it is so pretty. But I want to wait and see if I can get a better artifact because I play Trials every single week. The likelihood of me getting a better artifact is probably pretty high. So I definitely want to wait out to see if I can get anything better. But the Rainbow Blade is just really pretty. It's just super pretty. <laughs> now before I do switch onto my other characters, some people got mad at me for not showing them what the Trials armor looks like with different shaders. So this is for you guys. We're gonna start off with no shader at all, which I think looks actually pretty good. I think that looks pretty good. Now all of these shaders that I have in here are ones that sort of match the Trials cape, so you know. Yeah, the one that I had on just here was Million Million, which I think looks pretty cool. I'm not really sure about this brown, but you know, it, it looks perfectly fine. Then we have Aru's Passage, which is the Trials of Osiris shader, which of course looks good. We then have Undercity, which I think looks amazing. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna tell me it's very ugly, but I just love how black this black is and the yellow just looks good, I don't know. I just think it looks cool. And then we have Pre-Dawn, which has a little bit of yellow in it, so it definitely ties the armor into the cape, which is really nice. 
We then have Oracle 99, which no one uses this shader ever. Nobody uses this shader. So I'm actually thinking of rocking this just because of the simple fact that nobody else does. <laughs> we then have Midday, which doesn't go with the cape, although it doesn't look terrible, but I just love how green it makes it. It just makes it so green and it makes me happy. We then have Substance 321. Now this shader makes me feel like a desert queen. Like it really does. It makes me feel like a desert queen. It makes me feel amazing. <laughs> and for some reason, I seem to play better when I use this shader. I think it's because it empowers me by making me feel like a queen. I don't know. That's what I'm going to go with. But I think that looks pretty cool. I don't know. I like it. And then I picked out Chatter White, which doesn't necessarily go with the cape. But again, not many people wear Chatter White anymore. So I was thinking of using it because nobody else uses it. Lastly, we have Cryptographic, which is just all gold. It will show up as red on some armor. Let me see if I can show you the red at all. Maybe. Uh, do I not have any that shows red? Does really nothing show red? No, nothing, nothing shows red. Well, that just proves me wrong or right. There we go. There we go. There's the red. Oh yeah, it does it on these pants too. So if you want to wear this shader, do be aware that it makes it red. But even when it makes it red, I think it looks good. I think the red and gold is perfectly fine. <laughs> so that is it for my hunter, guys. Let's go take a look at what my warlock and titan got. Taking a look at my warlock, she of course did get the guaranteed chest piece. Like I said, this is the chest piece that you will all get if you play Trials of Osiris and you get to five wins. I'm pretty sure it's five wins. I'm sorry, I'm really bad with numbers and stuff, but I'm pretty sure it's five wins. It looks the same as year one like everything else does, but I don't really have a problem with that too much because I always liked the way Trials armor looked. Mine has intellect discipline with void armor and shotgun, so not the best, but I'm happy with intellect discipline. She also got like 10 billion chests to drop. I'm probably not going to keep all of these, but definitely like this one I might keep because it has solar armor on it and it's intellect discipline. So I might keep this one just so you guys know what it looks like in case no one knows what it looks like. That's, that's what it looks like. <laughs> I think that's pretty much all she got. I, she did get some arms, which does have increased reload speed with pulse rifles, which is really good. But that's basically all that she got this week. Yeah, that, that's all she got this week. The rest of the stuff is from the other weeks. But yeah, she looks pretty cool, right? Yeah. My warlock looks cool now, yay! <laughs> Lastly, taking a look at my titan. My titan, of course, has the guaranteed chest piece. Now, she didn't get very lucky with it in terms of this, because it's discipline strength, and I would much prefer intellect discipline for a titan. But she did get super lucky with sniper rifle ammo and solar armor. So this is going to be really good when I'm playing on my hammer titan. I'm going to need this for sure. Definitely need that. And having extra armor when using my hammer is always a good thing. Makes me OP OP. <laughs> but I think that's it. Yeah, she didn't really get much else. The only other thing that she did get was an artifact called the Sun Scorched Lens, which I guess is like a telescope lens that got burnt at the lighthouse maybe potentially I don't know this one I'm definitely not going to be infusing its discipline strength and solar catalyst but uh you know it's a lighthouse one and it makes me happy well not a lighthouse one it's a trials of Osiris gold package I think I got this from so I don't know I really like the trials artifact so I'm probably gonna hold on to it and that pretty much covers it for my loot this week guys what I really 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 want from trials is I want the ghost shell and I want the shaders and I don't even know if the new shaders can drop if you guys could let me know in the comment section if any of you have seen one of the new shaders drop so not Aru's passage I repeat not our who's passage let me know in the comment section guys that's gonna be it for the loop video i hope you enjoyed it and i'll speak to you awesome people later bye